everybody, it's Em. Uh, I'm in a slightly different location today in my house because the neighbors are having some work done and it's very loud in my office at the moment. They've got like excavators and stuff. I don't know, I think they're maybe doing something to their pool. But anyway, it necessitated moving and uh, or moving out of my office for the time being. And I, I didn't, I waited a couple days hoping it would end, but it looks like it's extensive work. <laughs> it's curly. Um, so I just decided to move to make the video for now. This is the BookTube Real Talk tag. Uh, I am almost done with my February reading, and so the next video after this will be my monthly wrap up. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to put out a little something else besides. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so without further ado, let's just answer the questions. Answer the question, Claire. Question number one, what's something nobody told you about BookTube before you started your channel? No one told me anything about BookTube. I just uh, saw other people talking about books on YouTube and decided to also talk about books on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I guess there are a lot of things I wish I'd known um, about how these things are done. I just jumped right in. That's kind of my style to just kind of jump in and do stuff. So that's well, the cat's on the table now. So if the camera's jiggling, that's why. Um, so honestly, nobody told me how hard it would be to get people to watch your videos. Uh, I love to watch so many YouTubers, uh, booktubers, and and uh, I, I was just like, oh, I'll just jump into. Um, I don't really. I don't know anything about the marketing though, so, so uh, hopefully it will just grow organically from where I'm at. Question number two, what is your opinion of typical booktube videos like wrap-ups, TBRs, book hauls? So um, I love wrap-ups, I love book reviews. Book vlogs are less interesting to me because watching somebody else read a book is not inherently very entertaining. Uh, I guess some people do book vlogs well because they, um, you know, pause to discuss where they are in the book and what their feelings as they go are. It's almost like a book review, like as you go. And so I have found some book vlogs to be uh, entertaining. I am Mara at Books Like Woe does really nice book vlogs. I sometimes watch Emily Fox's book vlogs. Um, I like Mars because you see the cats. <laughs> I'm here for the cats, obviously. Uh, uh, Wrap-ups, reviews, um, book hauls. I don't really watch book hauls because I just get jealous and wish I could go out and buy a bunch of books too. Uh, so I tend not to watch those a whole lot. Uh, I do watch a lot of book tags like this one. Uh, and then that inspires me to make some of these videos myself. So yeah, I mean, most of, most of the stuff I do enjoy. Question number three, what is an assumption you had about BookTube before you joined? I don't know that I had any assumption other than, again, that, you know, all you had to do was put out a video and people would watch it. That's not necessarily true. I think it's, what are you eating? No, don't eat that. <laughs> he found, he found a um, twist tie that probably one of the kids left out it came off of a packaging, I'm sure. Kids got some new games and stuff uh, recently, so. Years of being at home mean, you know, regular updates to games and content to keep them uh, entertained. Anyway, <laughs> this is gonna be a fun video. Uh, I So I didn't really have any assumptions, uh, so I don't really think I can say that my assumptions were met or correct or uh yeah i don't know I, I don't know i don't think i have really an answer to that question number four what is something you've done that has actually helped you grow your audience cats people love cats probably now what <laughs> he's trying to get to the so the heaters are on because it was like below freezing here this morning which for our part of california is pretty rare um, and if there's a vent, he usually tries to be on it or near it. Uh, 
So I think that's what he's trying to do. Is there the vent under the console? The TV console here? Um, I, nothing I've tried has helped me grow my audience yet, aside from the cats. All of my cat videos get way more uh, <laughs> views. If you go to my videos and you uh, click on most popular, the first two or three are videos of Crowley. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still working on that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Question number five. What is a common mistake you see new booktubers making or one that you made? I continue to make mistakes. I've been doing this for a few years. I'm trying to be more consistent, which is helpful. I think that assumption, maybe going back to the assumptions, the assumption that you could just turn on a camera and make a video. I mean, you can. Um, and it's kind of similar to self-publishing because yeah, you can write a book and publish it, but uh, you know, the more you invest in the work, the better the outcome. And I do hope at some point to be able to get like better lighting, better cameras and stuff. Right now, I can't justify that cost uh, because I don't make money from this. I'm just doing it for fun. Uh, at some point down the line, if this channel ever gets anywhere, maybe I, maybe I'll make slicker videos and learn better editing and all those things. Uh, but you know, I'm a writer. And so most of my investment uh, goes into that work. And then this is kind of a fun hobby. So I think going into booktube, you kind of have to know what you're hoping to get out of it. If you want to be a big channel that's making money from it and that publishers are sending you books to review and things like that. That's one thing. If you're like me and you're just kind of like, I'm just doing it for fun. I'm just enjoying it. I used to do, I used to be a, an actual book and television reviewer for an online magazine. I've been there, I've done that. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. And if it were the only thing I were doing, that'd be one thing maybe someday down the line when the kids are gone <laughs> and you know but uh yeah i think i think in any in any situation you have to know what you want your outcome to be and then you have to plan accordingly like if you want to be a best selling author even if it, you're self publishing you go about it maybe a little bit differently than I just want to write this story and get it out there and hope people find it. You know, it's, it's what you, what you put in is what you're going to get out, I think. Um, and unfortunately it is a catch 22 because a lot of people are like, I want to get big, but I don't have the resources right now to make the kind of videos that would make me big. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's hard. There is, there is a barrier to entry. It's easy to say, oh, you can just write a book and publish it. Oh, you can just get a camera and make a YouTube video. But again, like who you know and what resources are available to you to do the things you want to do, like there is a, there is a, a, a standard of privilege involved. That got way off topic, so sorry about that. I don't even remember what the question was. We're gonna move on. Question number six, what are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships? I haven't yet. I wouldn't mind doing, I, work, I worked in publishing. So um, I've kind of, like I said, I've been there. I used to then, after I left publishing, I worked as a reviewer for an online magazine called Blog Critics, and I enjoyed that. Um, and then when I had kids and didn't have an, as much time to sit down and read a book or sit down and watch a show regularly and do the regular um, kind of weekly review kind of things, uh, I quit doing that and just kind of let loose and decided that I was just going to enjoy content uh, in my own way and without an eye to criticizing or recapping or summarizing and now as my kids are all in their teen years I'm getting back into uh, that um, I'm all for you know working with publishers and sponsors if they're interested if it ever if I ever get that far but 
it's, you know, it's not my end goal. Um, I really just kind of want to, I want dialogue. I enjoy having conversations. I want to make more reader friends and booktube friends. It's more for me a community thing than um, me wanting to turn it into some kind of job or money-making opportunity. Question number seven, do you think booktube is dying? I don't think it's dying. I just think it's changing quite a bit. I think there are some people who have been around a really long time and have built huge audiences. I think more and more people are getting into booktube. You know, I see more and more small channels uh, coming up now. And then I think a lot of the attention has shifted over to places like TikTok and Bookstagram book talk I guess um, I have a TikTok channel and even though it's not huge it does get a lot more attention than my YouTube channel does so that tells me something right there um, again <laughs> more people want to see my cats than my book talk because cats rule the internet as we all know um, I can't complain I just told you that I go watch Mara's book vlogs because I want to see her cats. I want to see Hastings and, um, no, the other one also named after an Agatha Christie character. I can't, uh, is it, is it Miss Marple? Is the other one named Miss Marple? If you know, let me know, because I'm just showing that, uh, I'm all for Hastings. I love, I love Hercule Poirot. If you watched my last video, you know that. I have yet to read any Miss Marple. Um, so, uh, that's, you know, my my pet snake. Her name is Charlotte because she came with that name because she's a spider ball python. This is totally an aside. But um, she has a little marking over her mouth that looks like a curled mustache. So I call her Poiret. <laughs> That's, there you go. So that view. Um, do I, I don't, I have pictures of the snake. Well, I've posted pictures of her on Twitter and probably on Instagram at some point. My Instagram is private because I had a lot of creepers and stalkers, so uh, you would have to go ask permission to follow me. But if you're interested, my Instagram is p underscore stoller, like Peter Stoller, the the um, the character in my book, The Fall and Rise of Peter Stoller, uh, because my actual name was already taken. I don't post on Instagram very much. I used to a lot, but now I, I most, I'm mostly on Twitter here and then sometimes on TikTok. What I'll do is I'll post a few TikToks, go away for a couple weeks, post a few TikToks, and be like, oh yeah, it's time to put a TikTok up. Uh, so yeah, um, this was kind of a rambly video, sorry. Uh, but that is the booktube real talk tag. I will post the original, the link to the original, the originator of this video in the description below. And let me know your thoughts about booktube. If you're a booktuber or just a booktube watcher, um, or if you're just here for the cat who has gone off now somewhere, uh, let me know. And I look forward to hearing from you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all those good things. Still trying to build this audience up to 100 by the end of the year. I have 90 TikTok followers. I only have like 54 or 55 YouTube subscribers. If you want to prove that YouTube isn't dying and it's still better than TikTok, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's start a dialogue. Chat me up. Take care.